Hey everyone, welcome back to Gomes Tech Talks channel. In today's video, I will be diving into the exciting world of Business Central and exploring the roles and responsibility of the Business Central functional consultant. In the previous video, I have discussed about the introduction to Business Central and uh, the real time case scenario where the Business Central functional consultant will be involved. If you haven't checked that, please go and watch that. So if you are interested in ERP systems and helping business optimize their process, this is the perfect video for you. Let's get started. I'm Dr. Gomati. So I'll be explaining this complete video about the roles and responsibility of the business central functional consultant. So today's agenda is, as I told, I'll first tell you the roles and responsibilities with a real time scenario. And also I'll tell you what are the skills required at the different levels of experience, like from the fresher, if you are an intermediate level, so what you want, you should know. And if you're an advanced level, then what you should know. So let us first understand the roles and responsibility with a very real time scenario. You are a business central functional consultant. Okay, imagine that you are a business central functional consultant. Okay, working with a retail company that operates multiple stores and e commerce platform. The company is facing challenges with inventory management and they have decided to implement Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central to streamline their inventory processes. Let's explore your roles and responsibility in this scenario. So the very first phase is what the requirement gathering. You start by meeting the company's inventory managers and store supervisors to understand their current inventory management practices and the issues they encounter. They expresses the need for real time visibility into stock levels, automated replenishment process and efficient order fulfillment. So this is what the very first and important phase, which is requirement gathering. So let us come to the next phase, which is business process analysis. After gathering the requirements, you conduct a thorough analysis of the company's inventory workflows. You identify manual processes that lead to stockouts or overstocking and suggest improvements. You propose setting up minimum and maximum stock levels and implementing automatic reorder points to optimize the inventory level. The third comes system configuration. Using your analysis, that is using the previous phase, you configure Business Central's inventory module. You set up item categories for different product types, define item attributes, and establish default inventory costing methods. You configure locations for each store and the central warehouse, ensuring seamless stock transfers and tracking. And the fourth phase is customization phase. During the implementation, the company requests a custom inventory dashboard that provides real-time insights into inventory levels, sales levels, and replenishment needs across all stores and the e-commerce platform. You collaborate with the technical team to create this dashboard, enabling the company's management to make data-driven inventory decisions. And the fifth comes the user training. As the system configuration progresses, you conduct training sessions for store supervisors and warehouse staff. You demonstrate how to use Business Central to perform tasks such as receiving stock, processing sales order, and conducting physical inventory counts. The training emphasizes the importance of accurate data entry to maintain inventory accuracy. And the sixth comes the testing and validation phase. Before the go live, you conduct extensive testing to validate the inventory process in Business Central. You verify the stock transfers between location or seamless. Sales orders deduct stock correctly and the inventory dashboard displays accurate real time data. Any issues discovered during testing are resolved to ensure a smooth transition. So go live support on the go live day, you provide on site support to assist store supervisors and warehouse staff. You address any questions or concerns they may have during the initial days of using the new system. Your presence helps to build confidence in using business central effectively. And finally, post implementation support. 
Following the successful go live, you continue to provide post implementation support. You conduct follow up sessions to ensure that inventory management process are running smoothly. You address any user challenges and provide additional training as needed. You also work with the company's management to review inventory reports and optimize inventory levels based on sales trends. So in this real time scenario, as a business central functional consultant, you have successfully implemented inventory management solution for the retail company by understanding their inventory needs, configuring business central, providing training and support and implementing custom solutions. You have helped the company achieve efficient inventory management, reduce stockouts and improve overall operation efficiency. So this is the complete role and responsibility of a business central functional consultant. So let us understand uh, the this is what I have explained in very detail. So requirement gathering, you have to understand the client's business needs, pain points and the specific requirements. Conduct in-depth discussion and workshop with the stakeholders. Document and analyze gathered in requ requirements to create a comprehensive understanding. Business analysis, you have to analyze the client's existing business, identify the process improvement area and work closely with the client to design efficient and effective business processes. System configuration, configure the ERP system based on the gathered requirements. So here you will be discussing with the technical consultants, okay, based on your inputs. Set up modules such as financial, sales, purchasing, inventory, etc. And ensure the system is ready to handle all transactions data. Next comes the customization. So you have to identify any gaps between the client requirements, propose, implement customizations if they need anything. Additionally, collaborate with the technical consultants to develop and deploy the customization. User testing, you have to develop and deliver the training programs to the end user, provide hands-on training to ensure users are comfortable and educate the users on how to effectively use the ERP system. Testing and validation should be conducted thoroughly to uh, test the configured test and configure the ERP system. We have to verify the requirements and address and resolve any issues identified during the testing. The go live support you should provide support during the transition to the ERP system, assist with the data migration for the smooth go live process, and be available to address any immediate concerns or challenges. And finally comes the post implementation support. You should have the ongoing support, troubleshooting support and provide guidance on best practices for using the ERP system effectively. Next comes the skills required at different levels of experience. So we'll be discussing with as a fresher and intermediate and advanced. So as a fresher, uh, so uh, you, uh, as a fresher or entry level consultant, having a basic understanding of ERP concept okay, and the business processes is essential. Strong analytical and problem solving skills along with a good communication and the teamwork abilities will set you on the right path. And most importantly, be willing to learn and adapt to new technologies. That's how you will grow. And talking about the intermediate level, at the intermediate level proficiency in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central configuration becomes crucial. Knowledge of accounting principles and familiarity with the sales, purchasing, inventory and manufacturing processes will be valuable asset. You'll also need to conduct business process workshops with clients and have some project management experience as well. So all these things are essential for the intermediate level. And finally, at the advanced level, extensive experience in multiple business central implementation is a must. You will need in-depth knowledge of various industries and business domains. Expertise in complex systems configuration and customization along with the ability to design and implement the integrations with other systems will make you stand out. And don't forget strong leadership and mentoring skills to guide junior consultants. So that wraps up our discussion on the roles and responsibility of a business central functional consultant. It's exciting and a rewarding career path that allows you to help business thrive with the power of ERP technology. 
so the next video which i am planning to release is what the user interface essentials in business dynamics 365 business central and uh, the upcoming videos i am planning is what on the module 3 which is to personalize the microsoft dynamics 365 business central user interface if you find this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Gomes Tech Talks channel for more exciting content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.